uh, hi friends uh, this is Ashok Raj so in this video we are going to discuss about how to uh, how we can get the energy saving by uh, managing the shredder operation so it means that uh, we can save the energy saving we can uh, get the energy saving uh, to uh, handle the chillers in the efficient way so what is efficient way so i'm telling how what is the efficient way we can uh, operate the chiller so uh, before knowing that so if you are a uh, new uh, watcher to this channel please do subscribe and press the bell button to get the immediate update uh, from our channel so if you want uh, uh, to see the uh, the same uh, topic in other language like uh, hindi and uh, tamil so please go to engineers view uh, channels and uh, make use of it so uh, let's start the topic so uh, here uh, i have uh, four chillers so chiller Y and Z uh, is here uh, non VFD chillers and chiller A and B is here VFD chillers. So non VFD chillers it doesn't have a, a part load efficiency and uh, uh, VFD chillers uh, that is chiller A and B is here have a part load efficiency. So here the people will uh, get confused what is part load efficiency. It means that a simple so if you are seeing the chiller uh, Y and Z so the I kilowatt per tier is for all the uh, at different different loading profile if you are seeing that is very constant so in chiller is it also it is very constant instead of 1.5 kilo i kilowatt per tier here uh, it is uh, the i kilowatt per tier of this chiller 1.6 i kilowatt per tier so uh, if you are uh, seeing this uh, these chiller chiller a and b so at 25 uh, percent it is uh, giving uh, uh, it is producing uh, it is efficiency is 0.8 i kilowatt per tier and 50 percent it 0.7 i kilowatt per tier at 75 percent um, 0.9 i kilowatt per tier at 100 percent 0.2 i kilowatt per tier so in this chiller if you are running the chiller at 50 percent you can get the more saving it means that it is drawing very uh, less power to produce the on tier so it means that it is a part load efficiency this chiller has a part load efficiency but these two chillers doesn't have a part load efficiency okay so what i am uh, what i am going to uh, what i am going to say so if you have n number of chillers uh, you have the combination of vfd chillers non vfd chillers so in that if you are preferring uh, vfd chillers if you are running the, if you are managing your entire load with your uh, vfd chillers then definitely you will get the energy saving so it is very simple so in, i am just considering only four chillers in that four chiller i see that uh, uh, my load is 100 tr so uh, i have here 400 tr of uh, capacity so in that my chiller my load only is 100 tr so what i am going to do uh, in first cases and chiller y and z i am going to run uh, I will manage my the load and the second case I will run um, I will manage the load by using chiller A and B so in this small example you, you, you will understand how much energy I can save and how much uh, cost it is profited to me okay so in this uh, coming uh, slide you will know so I am uh, explaining so now chiller uh, Y and Z is working at 50% load. It means that both the chiller is 50%, uh, both the chiller uh, rated capacity is 100 TR. So if you're running with the 50 50%, uh, it means that 50 TR, 50 TR, each chiller is uh, uh, running with the 50 TR, uh, 50 TR load. Okay. So for one uh, one TR to produce one TR, it the chiller Y uh, is taking 1.5 kilowatt and uh, to produce the 1 tier the chiller z taking is 1.6 kilowatt so that is why here i am i am mentioning it 1.5 into 50 and here 1.6 into 50 so if you are multiplying these two and you will get 50, 75 kilowatt and here is 80 kilowatt it means that to produce the 50 tier uh, of cooling okay the chiller is consuming 75 kilowatt that is chiller y is consuming 75 kilowatt and to produce the 50 tier of um, cooling the chiller z is taking a uh, uh, consuming a 80 kilowatt so if my total load now is what 100 tr so to produce the 100 tr the chiller is consuming uh, 155 kilowatt i am adding these two why because my entire load is 100 tr so if i am running the chillers is for, for one hour it means that i will uh, that uh, 
155 unit i required i am running a chiller for one so if i am running the chiller for entire day so it means that i have to multiply into 24 so if you are 155 into 24 it comes around 3720 unit so i am assuming that one unit uh, i am paying for uh, for one unit i am paying 10 rupees so i am just multiplying uh, the unit into uh, that is kilowatt hour that is kilowatt hour one unit is nothing but one kilowatt hour so one kilowatt hour uh, i am paying for 10 rupees and just multiplying 3720 into 10 i am uh, nearly get that is uh, 7200 rupees i required to uh, run this chiller at 50 percent of load okay this is the case here so coming to case b uh, in in this case i am running the chiller with i am managing the load with uh, uh, vod chillers that is power load efficiency chillers so in this case to at 50 percent this chiller is consuming 0.7 kilowatt to, to produce a 1 tr it, it is consuming 0.7 so in uh, so so in this cases i have mentioned 0.7 into 50 and 0.7 into 50 so to produce 50 tr it, this chiller is consuming chiller a is consuming 35 kilowatt and chiller B is also consuming 35 kilowatt to produce the 50 TR. So to produce the 100 TR, so I'm just adding these two, and uh, I'm adding these uh, the the power consumption, so 70 kilowatt. So if I'm running the chiller for one hour, I required only 70 unit. So I'm running the chiller for entire day. My uh, consumption uh, will be 70 into 24. If I'm multiplying these two, I'm getting 1680 unit. So for one unit i am getting 10 rupees for one unit i am paying for 10 rupees if i am multiplying these two i and i will get around 16800 so so in this case so comparison we will go so that you can easily understand so you're saving in inr so indian rupees okay inr is nothing but indian rupees okay so kza i am get uh, uh, i'm managing the uh, 100 tr for entire uh, I, uh, for one day with uh, VFD chillers, sorry, non VFD chillers, uh, I required 37,200 uh, rupees, and here on KSB and 16,800 rupees. And the difference between these two and 20,400 It mean that I am, if I am running the chiller, I am managing the managing the load with uh, instead of uh, I am skipping uh, non VFD chillers and I am preferring VFD chillers that is part load efficiency chillers. I will get the saving around 20,400 for one day. If I am running the chiller, I am managing the load with power load efficiency chiller for entire one month I, and I will get 6 lakh 12,000 rupees. That is my saving. And for one year saving is comes nearly comes around 74 lakh 60, uh, 46,000 rupees. So, so if you are seeing, see my load is very very small. My load is very hunted here. So it is it is uh, compared with another big plant. It is very 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 less. Okay. So if I'm managing, uh, if I'm uh, if I'm uh, taking care of thousand tr, two thousand tr, and I have n number of chillers. So if 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 I'm having the n number of chillers in the combination of um, VFD chillers and non non VFD chillers, if you are performing the VFD chillers, definitely you will get the saving in huge. Okay, so so going forward, so if you have your chiller, if you have your VFD chillers, always try to use that VFD chillers in uh, weekly ones are a very uh, crucial time. Uh, very if you if you want to do the maintenance for your VFD chiller, then you can go for non VFD chiller. Otherwise, you please run with the VFD chiller so that you can get the energy more energy saving. So this is one of the tips. So apart from this, uh, there are another. Um, saving idea is also there so i will discuss uh, one by one in coming up video so thank you thank you for watching my channel and keep supporting so do you have any queries please uh, command it and uh, if you want to discuss anything so please command it so thank you so thank you for watching my channel and keep supporting thank you bye bye